Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can make one of these universal chain wrenches. These are real handy to have. Um, you can buy them but they cost almost nothing to make your own. It's a fun little project to do. These basically work almost identically as one of these strap wrenches and um, I have both as you can see but honestly I 90% of the time when I use this it's just in the house to open a jar <laughs> but um, I've got it I've used it maybe once or twice taken a uh, fan off the uh, the fan blades off to get a radiator out but um, or getting a water pump out and that's about it but these universal chain wrenches these are extremely handy and extremely useful now both of these have their pluses this works the best with round items this works best with items like I've got this bolt right here stuck in the vise because I'm going to demonstrate how it works in a moment it works better with bolts or square items um, you can use it on a round item but what you want to do is take like an old leather belt and you know cut it up and put that around the item first and then use this then it'll grab otherwise just going around a round item with one of these as they are don't work very well all right well let's just get in now how this works and then i'll show you how you can make your own so for demonstrating this i just locked um a bolt here into my vise and i measured it across this takes um a one inch wrench and this is about the smallest um, bolt you're going to be able to uh, use this on. Much smaller than this, it's not going to want to grab, not going to work. The bigger it is, the better it's going to work. And that's basically what these are for, is larger bolts and items that you need to turn. So what you do is just wrap it around. And you line up where you're the closest, lock it in. Whoops, came off there. And there we go. And like I said, this is about the smallest that one of these work on. That's why it does slip a little here and there. Um, anything bigger than this, it's it's gonna stop slipping this like i said this is the smallest you can really use one of these on and it's adjustable up to however long of a chain you put on it and that's the size i got so that's how big of an item you can go around and that's pretty darn big all right well to make it you need a piece of bicycle chain now, if you don't have a bicycle chain, maybe you've got some old timing chain laying around. That will work as well. And actually, timing chain, it's a little smaller, and um, the lengths aren't as long. If you used that, you could probably use it on smaller bolts and nuts. But bicycle chain, which is what most of them are made out of, you're talking about a, a one-inch across bolt and anything smaller than that it's not going to work at all as you can see what i did is i drilled two holes and i drilled them all the way through the pipe on this side i bolted down my length of chain and you can cut the chain whatever length you need um if you need something you know to go around something that's three four feet uh, or radius and you just make your chain longer Bicycle chain's easy to find. Um, this actually is from a garage door opener, but it's the same chain they use on bicycles, and that's what most people call it, bicycle chain. It's That's what most people commonly know it's used for. But you just drill two holes through, and you just line it up so it, it fits your chain. And this side, I bolted the chain down. This side, I put two bolts out so that we can use that so when you get your adjusted size you can put it on there now there is enough room you could screw a nut on there if you wanted but you don't really need to usually you can just hold your thumb on it like this 
when you're setting it up. And once you start putting pressure on it, you can let go. It'll, it'll stay. But, um, option. Instead of bolting it on this side, you could weld it on. I went with bolts because if I need to, I can go cut another piece of chain and put a longer one on or put a shorter one on, whatever way. So I just went with the bolts. If you welded it on, it'd probably be a little stronger and you'd be able to wrench on um, some things that were torqued down more, but this works good. The only real drawback, I mean, if something's rusted on, or you got to have both hands on here and you're pulling as hard as you can, it probably is going to bust one of these bolts. It's not really made for something that's um, been rusted together for 20 years. But who knows? You might get it off with it. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, you, um, I used a piece of round tubing I had, and it was some thicker tubing. You just want to make sure it has some strength to it. And I chose the round because it's nicer to hold on to. But you can use square tubing if that's all you got. Just make sure it's not super thin walled stuff that you're going to grab to wrench on. And it's just going to fold and break. That just... <laughs> not even worth it then. But, all right. Um, can't really think of anything else to go over. I'll just show you one more demonstration of something you can use it for. You uh, got your gas can lit on too tight and you can't get it off. Oh, I got to push down that little thing that. <laughs> get back on there. There we go. See, it works perfect for that. And. You can use it like a ratchet. When you loosen it, it opens up, and then when you go to turn it, it tightens. Now, for a round item like this, this would work just as well. But um, these are handy. If you're a do it yourselfer, put one of these together or Go online, you can buy them. You can buy them. They're, I'm not sure. I'm sure you could probably find a cheap one for 10, 15 bucks, but it's more fun to build your own. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I hope you have a great day and have fun building.